Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. Alright, so I've had my brain on lock for a while, and yes, that lock has been very, very stupid. I have a wing sword, for God's sakes. Layla has a stupid long sword. That's why she's not doing any damage. Sheesh. Plus, the magic penalty means bolt 4 wasn't really working as well. Yeah, just me being stupid. Anyway, uh, Deast Cavern B2 making my escape. I just am hoping to get out of it quickly. And the usual undead trash. You're probably wondering what the next destination is. That would be Altair. The reason for that is because that's where the next piece of plot is. So before we actually head to Altair, I'm actually going to stop in fast. And once I get through that, and just restore my MP, I'll run a bunch of aquatic encounters as I head the ship into the inner sea, as the next several objectives pretty much cover that area anyway. So, we'll just run through these with relative ease, and once I get on the ship, I'm pretty much home free. Well, hopefully. Pretty sure I just land on the area near Bask and that's it, because all that's there is just a bunch of stupid goblins and other rank 1 trash. Take so it through here. Oh, god damn it! How many does this make in the last two episodes? I know I had to hunt down at least five two episodes ago, and then there was a few more that showed up. Just last episode. Good lord. Okay, there's nothing I can do other than bash away and hope I get through with these. Five hits for 95 damage. Three hits for 18. Yeah, at least she can damage a 60 defense character. 146. Ouch. Well, at least Spirion will gain some HP from this, and I'll put him over 500. But I have to brute force my way through this, there's no option. I have no magic, damn it! I just gotta hope I can kill this thing before it kills one of my characters. And fortunately, that worked out with a miss. There it goes. Alright, worked out in favor. Uh. Vitality, power. Well, at least no intelligence down, but sucks to not have HP. And finally, I'm at B1. Oh, what now? Land turtles and wizard ogres. Eh, you know what? I'll screw around one time. I do have enough for one arrow spell. Strike first, takes that out in one shot, which is good. Yeah, I'll just run an arrow, because why not? I at least have some use for it. And just bash away. And that's a wrap there. Power up for Layla, and an Ice Toe! Alright, I can use that! Matter of fact, I'll put it on, uh, Virion. There we go, good stuff. Yeah, I recognize I have the Giant Gauntlets, but I haven't had the time to check what they do, so I'll put them on an Altair, if they're worth it. Otherwise, I'll just stick on as is, because I've mentioned the thing about accessories, uh, arm weapons, I meant to say, and their real biggest issue for them is that they have pretty heavy magic penalties for the most part, because the Mithril one is a 24% magic penalty, which is painful. So that's why I haven't really used it. Guy's got the leather one on now, which is a 4%. And the Thief Gloves that Furion have, I don't think have that much of a penalty either. I mainly also have them on for the Agility bonus, which is nice to have. A 
intelligence down and power up. Damn it. I hate drops. At least I'm out of the cavern, but I'm not out of the woods yet. I gotta land right next to Bastion in order to say I'm home free. What's this? Scalactites. Damn it, I should have saved that arrow for this encounter. Would've been fun. Actually, I'll let Fear and attack one of them. This should finish all of them off, I think. Two eighteen. Well, I tried. Power up, intelligence down, and power up. Damn it. Well, Maria. I'm not surprised about Maria, because she's had zero MP for so long. That was probably inevitable. And finally, I'm on the ship. Let's just head west. And home free. Let's get the bath. And uh oh. Well, I mean, I. Is it really uh oh when it's rank one trash at this point? Or they should be running. But I don't mind dumping trash. Good. That's what I expected from you idiots in the first place. Intelligence down and power up. Yay. At least I got a power up, which is fine, but. Sheesh. About time. Alright, just go ahead and rest in the inn first off. 134,000 gil. Good lord. Just go ahead and walk in here. And let's sell some crap that we don't need. In which case. The long sword is garbage. This is garbage. I hold on to Were Beast just for now. The gold shield can stay. Mithril can go. Mithril can go. Mirror can stay. I'll keep the ancient sword for a moment. Heart death. Alright. Um. Anything else I could really do here? Yeah, because the gold shield's actually pretty good. I might still need the wear buster. Uh, just actually, wait a minute. Uh, we're at that point where it really won't be necessary. First, the weapons are getting a lot stronger. The gold shield definitely stays, no questions asked. I'll keep the ancient sword to mango. And that's pretty much a wrap here. Alright, so I'm heading to Altair through the inner sea. And that requires getting back on the ship and sailing up to Salaman and just going up past the the South Island. So I just need to locate South Island with all this junk, which should be about... Yeah, I'll just sail all the way out here. Should be about right here. So I end up at South Island. Alright, there's the island. Just sail up north farther until I find the strait in order to get to Altair. Really? Not a single encounter up to this point? Holy shit! Christ, I've sailed through much of the world before I faced anything. Very bizarre. You're not even the 10 minutes recording time. I was expecting more than that. Well, at least it's a nice little break in the action, but damn. Easy stuff. 
I mean, I don't, I don't think it was even worth using uh, magic at this point. Chris was using hitting fights so much, it was probably just uh, muscle memory at this point. Alright, there's the straight. I just need to... Uh, what's this? Alright, sea dragon fish. Now's a good time to really just bolt. And I'll train arrow. Let's just train more magic. Oh, so much for ice doing anything. That's not gonna kill the killer fish. Four hundred and twenty damage. Ineffective. I'll just fight this time. Okay. So that'll work out. Um, I figure at least train the spells up a tiny bit. Vitality down, intelligence up. Alright. Now we have this crap, which more or less mandates that I run magic in order to get everybody. So take out the sea dragon. I will arrow. Guy can ice. Bolt 4. I thought it was Bolt 3, I forgot it got leveled up. 68. I'll just keep rolling with the uh, effects here. So. Actually, in this case, I can power fire up, since I expect aquatic enemies to be resistant to fire. So, I figured it'd be smart to just, uh, run at that. Because eagles, I don't think, have any resistance to anything. So fire would be fine. Sure enough, it works. Alright, keep on sailing up. I just need to find the place I need to be. Which, uh... Just sailing along the coast. Alright, four eagles. Once again, just running magic. Bolt five. Fire five. Ice five. And bolt five. Nobody's actually going to one-shot these things. I mean, that's fine, because I can still get some stuff. I can power up a little bit more, which I don't mind. I run fire again. Ice. Lightning. This should take everybody. As long as guy makes his move. There we go. And that's a wrap. Intelligence up, MP up for Layla. Alright, let me B select. Where's Altair? Okay, we're not far from it. We need to go this way. That is Palu. So, we need to go right over there, there's Altair. Alright, good to go. Jeez, 15 minutes. Well, again, the, uh... I'll just rest at the end. Once again, we have, uh... There was no encounters until I reached borderline the inner sea. 
Good lord. Alright, so what's the goal this time? Well, we gotta head in here. In which case, they, uh... They all talk about, uh, Princess Hilda being weird. That he is, I trained him. Yeah, everyone's talking about the princess being weird, which is interesting. I think if I walk up to Gordon. And that's really a wrap there. So, we do need to speak to Princess Hilda to move things forward, but that's something I want to save for the next episode. Because that is the next main thing of concern, and of course there's nobody here, which, uh... Good on him. Anyway, Princess Hilda's in this room, in which case, I am just going to uh, call it a shorter episode than usual. I mean, I was surprised to see very few cars in the ocean, but that's how it was. Anyway, I'll close things here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.